Hi friends, in this video we are going to see the MS Excel view on collection stage. So I have an Excel file here. I would like to transfer the data from Excel file to Blue Prism collection stage. So for this one, just go to file. First we need to download MS Excel view. File, so import, browse and choose an MS Excel view under uh, Blue Prism Limited, Blue Prism Automate and VBO. Click on next. So let me assign like a unique name for this one. MS Excel so business object. Click on next. Finish it. Now it's ready. MS Excel business object. Let me create a process for this one. So Excel integration with Blue Prism collection stage. And double click on the process. Here is the only like one stage where we can bring from uh, we can bring business objects from object studio to process studio called like the action stage. So just let me drag and drop the action stage. And let me assign a name for this one. Create instance. It is similar to open an application or launch an application. Choose the MS Excel business object and then choose create instance and click on outputs tab and if you click on like a store so we'll create like a one handle it's like a unique number if you like to use like a multiple excel sheets in one process and we need to create like a multiple instances with different handle numbers click on ok Then drag and drop one more action stage. Open workbook. Choose MS Excel video. And select open workbook option. And the handle number. Just you can drag and drop the handle number here. And the file name. Shift and right mouse button, you can see the copy as a path. Paste it here. The outputs, so the workbook name is, so it will automatically create, like you know, we call it like a dynamic data type. And drag and drop one more action stage. So get what sheet has a collection and choose an MS, MS Excel business object and you can choose an action like get worksheet as a collection and workbook name is so just drag and drop the workbook name here and worksheet name worksheet name is so here it's the sheet one so it should be in double quotes. Sheet 1. Now keep it in double quotes. And output. So here there are like you know, two types of collections. One is like an you know, undefined collection and defined collection. If you click on like a storing, will the blue prism will automatically create like you know, by itself will call like an undefined collection and then will automatically define the data types you know, itself okay but whereas here we are creating like our own cal collection stage and then okay for that one just drag and drop collection stage assign a name for this one 
items table it is similar to ms excel spreadsheet or database table in database the fields are nothing but columns and initial values are nothing but rows okay, first let me add like you no know, columns the first one is serial number and obviously the data type data type is number you can assign any name for this one again serial number of items next second column is item name obviously the item name is like a text the data type is text and you can assign a name to the name of the item and go to like the third one item quantity obviously the data type is number The fourth column is order date. The data type is date. And you add back one more column. So item cost. Data type is number. So we can leave like initial values and current values because the initial values are not but the rows we are getting data from the Excel spreadsheet. We can OK and open get worksheet as a correction and click on output tab. Now we can map it. Just drag and drop the collection stage into the storing. The data type is obviously the collection. So click on OK. Now I'm correcting all stages. Run it. Just click on run. Now you can see the data, data will transfer from Excel to correction stage. So here you can see the initial record data. Then click on OK. Next. Now we can see some more e actions in under Excel spreadsheet. So here create as an instance, open workbook, and then get worksheet as a collection. And if you would like to view the worksheet like you now while it's open, like while it's running, and you add one more e action stage drag and drop on the action stage here show workbook and choose MS Excel business object and select show workbook Then outputs like you know drag and drop handle number here. Just connect it. Then click on run. Now you can see the Excel is running, you know, it is showing like an Excel sheet while it is running.
The create instance is similar to like open an application. After completion of this work, so let me to close this application to close like an Excel, just use like a close instance. So drag and drop one more action stage here. Close instance and choose MS Excel business object then close instance then drag and drop the handle number here so outputs so we can leave it so link the stages Now it's closed. And let me go go ahead with some more actions in Excel spreadsheet. So drag and drop one action here. Just keep in between like create instance and open workbook. Let me create like a workbook here. Let me assign name for this one. Create workbook and choose an MSX or business object. Then create workbook and drag and drop the handle number. So link all stages. So reset it, then run it. Now let me add like you know, some more actions here. And similar to create workbook, let me use like one more action after getting the like, worksheet as a collection. Let me close the workbook. So drag and drop on an action stage here. Close workbook. Choose MS Excel business object and close workbook and drag and drop the handle here. Drag and drop workbook name. Okay. So run it. So in the same way, if I would like to save this data in some other uh, Excel sheet, so here I would like to store this data on desktop. You can see item table. Right now the item table is empty, so I would like to store this data. You know, like in this, uh, no, I would like to transfer the data. So into this Excel spreadsheet, just let me copy the path. So make a room in between, like get worksheet as a collection and close workbook. The drag and drop to an action stage. I will save worksheet as I will save worksheet. And choose MS Excel business object. And then choose the action is save current workbook as the file. <coughs> so the file name is here. And drag and drop the handle number. Then go to output. And click on store in. It's good. It's 
also delete it and click this stages so reset it and then run it yes let me go to desktop now the data is transferred here okay and reset it 